Hi everyone, this is Clint from Persuasive Evangelism and today I'm going to go over this book, Have No Fear by John Lennox. Um, I'm right now in Astoria, Oregon and that's the Astoria Bridge. It's over almost six miles long. It goes over near the mouth of the Columbia River. So it's a very wide river. Uh, over on the other side, you can see that landmass is Washington State. And I'm in Oregon right now, so pretty beautiful area. So. Uh, this book is, it's a short little book, only about 70 pages long. You could read it in about a day. Um, it basically is a Christian, how to share your faith and have no fear about it. Uh, God asks us to be the light, a light in the world and give the gospel the good news. Since you have it, give it to other people um, and Jesus can change your lives. And uh, it's a lot of good information. It talks about uh, one, getting started. John Lennox has has been sharing his faith his whole life and talks about interesting situations where in college where he shared his faith just to strangers and it just came about naturally um, making a defense uh first peter always said to have have reasons for if someone asks you have reasons for what you believe and um yeah, so have knowledge. It's always okay to say if, if they, someone asks you a question that you don't know, and you can always, you know, try to find an answer. Let them know that you'll find an answer, and you know, see, research it, and give them, re, go, get back to them. Uh, it says conversing about Jesus, the use of scripture in witnessing, walking the talk, the difference between religion and Christianity. This was interesting. John Lennox said most religions, it's a, it's basically a marathon. For your whole life you have to do this and that this and then you, you never know if you're going to make it and at the end of your life when you die then you'll be judged whether you're good enough to make it uh, but christianity is complete opposite god's giving you this free gift of faith jesus died on the cross for your sins and if you accept this you're forgiven you're saved and um it's not a marathon at that point uh your life will change your heart will change and you're saved and you don't have to worry about if you're going to make it to heaven or not uh so that was interesting and then explaining salvation i wanted to read this one little chapter or not chapter but paragraph um at the beginning of salvation is the magnificent doctrine of the grace of god ephesians 2 4 to 5. It is worth stressing once more that when the Bible speaks of salvation, it means exactly that, a supremely lovely, loving action on the part of God to rescue those who could not help themselves. Without Jesus, we are dead in our sins, Ephesians 2, 1, and facing God's wrath, John 3, 36. If we trust Jesus, we can be forgiven and find new life and friendship with God, whoever we are and whatever we've done. So that's amazing news that if you reach out to Jesus, ask him to forgive you of your sins and ask him into your life that he and believe that he died and was raised on the third day, you're forgiven and saved. Um, there's a little sinner's prayer at the end of this where you can, there's an interesting prayer where you could, if someone wanted to become a Christian, they could pray this, if they can find it. So it says, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, I present myself to you now. I know I have sinned in my thoughts, words, and actions. I am conscious of my sin, and I need your forgiveness. I am truly sorry. I know that I cannot obtain your acceptance by anything that I can do, but I thank you that you came from heaven to save me by giving your life upon the cross for me and by rising again. And then... Uh, Please come fully into my life, and I trust you alone for my salvation. Come in as my Savior to cleanse me, as my Lord to control me, as my friend to be with me. Please send your Holy Spirit to live inside me and make me a child in your family. I'm stepping out in faith and total trust of Christ. Amen. So, yeah, I totally recommend this book. Um, I have a few extra copies if you're in the area. I can always give you one, but, yep, great book by John Lennox. Totally recommend it. Uh, take care everyone. Goodbye and God bless. Show you this beautiful area one more time.